James Kaufman, World News Report today. Today is October 1st, 2022, 3 p.m. Central here in the U.S. God bless you and yours, no matter where you are in the world, folks. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. It appears that we just had an M5.82 solar flare with associated coronal mass ejection directly earth-facing pop off. Talking about seconds ago, it's still not even over yet. NASA, of course, has not assigned which sunspot it came from, but we're on it. Please notice that this happened at 20 UTC time, okay? Again, NASA has not said where this flare came from. I see a flare that happened just before that out of no sunspot here, but obviously there is your... M5.82 flare, larger than 5, directly earth-facing, coming from sunspot AR3110, which was so crazy as it came around the limb to be earth-facing. And let me assure you guys that that hit our GOES satellite. I'll show you the radio blackout next. And that's directly earth-facing. If they want to say so or not, earth component, period. I'm also starting to think they're giving us fake information, at least on Lasco C3, as Venus still hasn't moved and transited the back of our sun, i.e. there was never a planetary lineup. Definitely been a rough day, radiation-wise, around the planet, being hit by that C-plus solar flare baseline. And then when you get hit, it's a serious situation. That was the first little thing that I showed y'all go off, and here is that five, wow, here is that 5.82 M flare. I did lose internet for some time, but I knew something was going on. I thought it might be the solar storm they swore was coming, which never did, but it was a M flare directly or facing if if all three of these models are correct and if they're giving us real information. God bless you and yours, folks. Share, subscribe, and always remember anything's possible in Bizarro World.